Can you find the radius of this circle? It looks very tough, but let's make it easy. This is an amazing question, because in this single question, we will be using four different theorems, like chord, chord power theorem, perpendicular bisector of a chord, Thales theorem, and Pythagoras theorem. We have a circle. Now draw this chord. Its length is 17 units. Then draw this line, which is also perpendicular to this chord, and its length is 8 units. Then draw another line, which is perpendicular to this line, its length is 22 units. Our job is to find the radius of this circle, so can you solve it? Okay, let's begin. In order to solve this problem, let us draw a line which will be parallel to this line, like this. Now this is 17 and this is 22 units. So what will be the length of this piece? Yes, you are right, it will be 22 minus 17 or 5 units, right? Now let us draw this line and complete this chord, and let us label the length of this piece as h. Now there is a theorem called the perpendicular bisector of a chord theorem, which states that a line drawn from the center of a circle to a chord which is perpendicular to the chord will always bisect it, or cut the chord into two equal parts. So let us draw this perpendicular bisector line from the center of this circle using the above theorem. So both of them will become 17 slide by 2 now. Since these two lines are parallel, and this is a right angle, therefore this length will be equal to this, and thus it will be 17 slide by 2. Similarly, this will also be 17 slide by 2. Right now, again, using the perpendicular bisector of a chord theorem on this chord, both these pieces will be of equal length. Therefore, we get 17 slide by 2 plus h will be equal to, this will be 17 slide by 2 plus 5, so we get h equals 5. Let us clear things up some noise. Now, here begins the real magic. We can now use a theorem called the chord-chord power theorem. Imagine two lines crossing inside a circle making four pieces like this. Let us label the sides as A, B, C, and D. The theorem says that if you multiply the lengths of the two parts of one chord or AB, then it will always be equal to the same multiplication for the other chord or CD. Now let us draw a line like this. What will be the length of this piece of the chord? Label it as M. Look at these four parts of the chord. We can simply use the chord chord power theorem here to get this times this. Or 22 times 5 equals this times this. Or 8 times m, therefore we get m equals 110 over 8, or 13.75 units. So what will be the length of this chord? It will be 13.75 plus 8, or 21.75 units. Again, let us clear the things and remove the unnecessary lines. Great, now let us connect these two points with each other. See, clearly I have made this line pass through the center of this circle. Do you know why? Here comes another theorem called Thales' theorem. It states that if a triangle is formed inside a circle with one of its sides as the diameter of the circle, then the angle opposite to the diameter is always a right angle, or 90 degrees. That simply means it will pass through the center of the circle now if we label the radius of the circle as r, then this diameter will be of length 2 times r, right? So finally, we can use our favorite right angle triangle theorem, which is Pythagoras' theorem here to get 2r squared equals 17 squared plus 21.75 squared. Therefore, 4r squared equals 289 plus 470.06, or 762.06, thus r squared equals 762.06 slash 4, which will be 190.51. And therefore, r equals the square root of this, which is approximately 13.80 units, and that's it. This is our final answer. Do comments if you have learned something new in this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Mathspire. Thanks. Keep on learning.